monster bed builders. A belly button lint licorice stick and another belly button lint licorice stick. Hey, Goo, what are you doing? Hi, Max. I'm piling up all my yummy monster snacks to see how many I have. And how many do you have, Goo? There's one, two... <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! It's Numberline Monster! Numberline Monster has the numbers 1 to 10 on his body, like a ruler. Hi, Numberline Monster! No, oh, hi, Monster Ma. Uh, 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 squad! Are you tired, Numberline Monster? Oh, am I ever! Uh, I got a new bed last week and I can't figure out how to put it together. You mean you haven't slept for a week? That's right. It's way past my bedtime. Don't worry, Number Line Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. We'll help you put your new bed together. Oh, thank you. Could you hurry? Hmm. We need to help Number Line Monster put his new bed together. Oh, I bet we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Some. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Some. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Numberline Monster put his new bed together. <laughs> Bath Squad, this is my new compost bed. Oh, at least it will be once we can put it together. Composts are places where old bits of monster food get dumped. To rot and turn into new soft dirt. And since I love soft dirt, I thought a compost bed would be perfect. But the mixing instructions are monstrously mystifying. Listen. Step one, place three slimy squashes on the ground. One, two, three. Yep, that's three slimy squashes, all right. Step two, add four rotten radishes. One, two, three, four. There. But then it says to mix the seven vegetables together. I mean, what seven vegetables? I only have three slimy squashes and four rotten radishes. I don't have seven of anything. Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, some. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, some. Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! It's a line dancing competition. But how many monsters in all have come? What's the total? What's the sum? To find that out, we'll add them all. Step to the number line when I call. Cowboys come and stand on one, two, and three. They look pretty good. Don't you agree? Cowgirls, now your turn. Stand on four, five, and six. Three cowboys plus three cowgirls. Yep, their sum is six. The sum is what you find with a handy number line. Six little dancers dance so fine. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Monster Math Monitor. That was helpful. Now we know that a sum is what you get when you add groups together. And since sum is a math word, let's, let's do, do math! math! Oh! If only we
we had a number line we could use. Number lines are great for adding. Oh, I'm very tired. <laughs> oh. We know, number line monster. You and your numbers just stretch out there and relax. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. That's it. Numberline Monster is a number line. <gasps> You're right, Lily. <laughs> that means we can use Numberline Monster as our number line. The instructions say that we need to mix seven vegetables together. Do you think our three slimy squashes plus our four rotten radishes add up to seven vegetables? Well, let's check. Here's the group of slimy squashes. One. Two, three. And here's the group of rotten radishes. One, two, three, four. First, let's put the three slimy squashes on the number line, starting on number line monsters number one. Help us count, squad. Here we go. <laughs> one, two, three. And now, let's put the rotten radishes on the number line. Let's count together. Four, five, Six, seven. Did you say seven? Yes, the two groups together go from one to seven. That means the sum of three plus four is seven. Seven vegetables, just what the instructions said we needed. Yeah! What, what happened? Oh, ow, 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 oh, ow, ow, my eyes, ow. Uh, you fell asleep. But we used you as a number line to add the group of squashes and the group of radishes together. And you know what we found out? Together, they make seven vegetables, just like the instructions said we needed. Let's put them in my compost bed. Yeah. There, Woo. all done. Nothing's happening. Of course not. That's because there are still more instructions. It says to place two putrid peaches on the pile. Then it says to add six badly bruised bananas to the two putrid peaches for a sum of... Uh-oh! The, the, the last page is missing! How are we going to finish the compost bed without the last page of the instructions to tell us the sum we need? Now what do we do? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, sum, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, sum! Look, a monster math monitor. The line dancing competition is done. Look at the prizes the dancers won. One, two, three, four, five ribbons. And one, two, Three trophies. How many prizes in all have they got? With a number line, they can add up the lot. Start with the ribbons. Here they go. One, two, three, four, five in a row. Carry on with the trophies, nice and straight. Look, they're on six, seven, and eight. That's the total, that's the sum. That's eight great prizes the line dancers won. Wow! Now we know that you can find out any sum on a number line. A number line works for adding up anything. Let's find the sum of the festering fruits so we can finish making number line monsters bed. Oh, I'm so tired. We're almost done. We just have to add up the putrid peaches and the badly bruised bananas on you. Okay, number line monster, lie nice and still. Let's start with the putrid peaches and put them on the number line. One, two. Now, let's carry on along the number line with the badly bruised bananas. Let's count together. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, uh, two peaches plus six bananas equals... Do you know? Oh, the sum is eight. There are eight festering fruits. Eight? That's great. Hey, what's that piece of paper on the ground? <gasps> it's the missing page from the instructions. And it says, eight festering fruits. That's the sum of the fruits. 
Let's put them in the compost. Next, mix everything together. Hey! Something's happening! Look! My bed! My beautiful new rotten compost bed! Oh, it's so soft and squishy! Perfect for sleeping! Oh, thank you, Monster Math Squad! Great job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Numberline Monster make his new compost bed! And we did it by knowing all about adding on a number line to find the sum of things. How's the bed feeling now, number line monster? <laughs> that deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <gasps> we, we did, did the, the math. math! We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! <laughs> <laughs> monster Garby Cheat. Okay, Max, we can do it. <laughs> this time, we'll get a... <laughs> Strike! <laughs> the Scream Screen always surprises Goo. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Garbage Monster! Howdy ho, Monster Mask Squad! Howdy ho, Garbage Monster! What can we do for you? Well, I need your help. I indeedy do. I really need a nap. But my monster garbage heap has just gotten too tall for me to hop up on. Garbage Monster has a big heap of garbage at his house that he loves to hop up on and take a nap. I sure doodly do, Lily, but now I can't. How'd your garbage heap get so big? Well, sometimes I just can't bear to get rid of garbage. After all, I am a garbage monster, and garbage makes me happy. Garbage monsters do like garbage. And so I save it and pile it up. <sighs> but I guess I got carried away, because now it's too high for me to hop to the top. And that's why I always go from a garbage nap. Too high to hop up on? That's a lot of garbage! Sure is, but I'm tired. I really need a nap. Don't worry, Garbage Monster. The Monster Map Squad is on the job. Goody good. See you soon. We need to find a way to help Garbage Monster get up on his garbage heap so he can have a nap. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ha! Ha! Word monster! monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Greater! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Greater! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. <laughs> Oops. Come on, squad. Let's go get Garbage Monster up on his heap. Monster Mask Squad? Whoa, that's a really big garbage pile. Sure is, but I guess it grew too big. I just can't reach the top anymore. No, siree, I cannot. Hmm, we just need to find a way to get Garbage Monster up higher so he can hop on his heap. Maybe I can give you a boost. I don't think you'll be able to hold me if I stand on your hands, Max. I'm pretty heavy. Sure I can. <laughs> Garbage Monster is pretty heavy. Hmm, this isn't working. We need to find something else for Garbage Monster to stand on. Something that is sturdy enough to hold him. How about... a Rock Monster? <laughs> <laughs> Silly goo! Rock Monsters do not like to be stood on. Aha! A wood box! That's strong. 
garbage monster could get on that box to get high enough to hop on the garbage heap. Well, looky there. That might do the trick. Let me give her a try. Oh, no! He still can't get to the top. What do we do now? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Greater! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Greater! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! There's lots of monster fruit that's round, but it hangs up high above the ground. Hungry monster with no fruit? This just shouldn't be. He'd better grab a box to get up in the tree. One box? No fun. The number of boxes must be greater than one. Two more boxes. Now he's done. Up, up he goes to get a monster treat. Whoops, now that flying monster has him in his feet. That was really helpful. Now we know that the number of boxes we need has to be greater than one. <laughs> and greater than one means more than one. Right, Lily? <laughs> That's right, Goo. So we have to find more boxes. Let's, Let's do, do Monster Math! Perfect! Perfect! Goo? Who turned out the lights? Oh, sorry, little buddy. <laughs> oh, silly monsters. Okay, we got more boxes. Let's see if it works now. Can you hop to the top, garbage monster? Sorry, little Lily. I can't seem to hop any higher than I did when there was just one box. Hmm, I don't understand. We got more boxes. But we didn't get Garbage Monster any higher! So, we have more boxes, but they aren't any higher. Do you think it has something to do with how we place them? <gasps> I think you're right! If we stack them on top of each other, the stack of boxes will be higher! Come on! We can do this, Monster Math Squad! Let's, Let's do, do Monster, Monster Math! math. Oh! Oh, that sure looks high enough now. Yes, sirree. That's a mighty fine stack of boxes you made here. But even it's too high for me to hop onto. Whoa! Whoa! Careful, guys. We used a greater number of boxes, but Garbage Monster still can't hop onto the stack of boxes. What are we doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, greater, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, greater! Look, a monster math monitor. There's a diving board way up in the sky. For such a tiny barrel, that really seems high. To get to the top, you'll need to build a stair. The first stack is easy. It simply has one square. Then build a new stack that's greater by one. Pile up two squares, and your second stack is done. To build the last stack of squares, here is a clue. Again, make it greater by one. That's all you do. One, two, three squares will make your third stack high. Climb all the steps way up in the sky. Dive in the barrel, and we will say goodbye. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know that we can make stairs to get Garbage Monster to the top of his garbage heap. Yeah, and to make stairs, we need to put stacks of boxes beside each other. And each stack needs to be greater by one than the stack before. And greater by one means one more box. <laughs> That's right, Goo. So, for the first step, we'll need one box. One box. First step, <laughs> done. Now, the number of boxes in the next stack has to be greater by one. So if the first stack has one box, the next stack needs to have one more than one. And how many boxes are one more than one? Right, two. Second stack, two boxes. <laughs> I'll make that stack. So the third stack needs to have one more box than the second stack. 
I'll make the third stack. <gasps> Doggy, look at them boys go. So far, so good. It's working. I'm getting higher. Oh, I cannot climb this. Nobody dope. Why not? I made my stack greater than the one before. Hmm. Your stack does have a greater number of boxes than this stack, Max. But is it greater by one? What do you think? Let's see. This stack has one, two boxes. And this stack needs to be greater by one. That means one more than two. Right, Lily? <laughs> right, Goo. And one more than two is... Yes, three! How many did I stack up? Let's count. One, two, three, four! Oh, that's the problem. There should be three boxes, not four. So let's take one away. There! Now there are three! Oh, I hope it works. Give it a try, Garbage Monster. Okie dokie, Goo. Here goes. One big heap. I guess I better start watching how much garbage I toss on it, but it sure is comfy. Phew! <laughs> that was a lot of work. Maybe I could have a quick nap too. Wait, Goo! It's really, really. <laughs> Stinky up there. Monster Math Tastic job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Garbage Monster up onto his garbage heap. And we did it by learning all about Greater. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Joke Monster Machine. Okay, Goo. What shapes can you make? I'll show you, Max. Triangle, circle, square. What shape are you now, Goo? <laughs> Squished. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen. Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mask. It's Joke Monster. He always plays jokes on monsters. <laughs> it's fun. Hi, Hi Joke, Joke Monster. Monster. Uh, Joke Monster. Uh, no, I'm not Joke Monster. You're not? I'm <laughs> just joking. <laughs> of course I'm Joke Monster. <laughs> Good joke, Joke Monster. What can we do for you? Well, Lily, I just got a joke monster machine. What's a joke monster machine? Oh, you'll see. It's so much fun. Is it behind that big box? No, Max. It's not behind the box. It's in the box. Yeah, that's the problem. I can't get the box open. Can you help me, Monster Mad Squad? You bet we can. The Monster Mad Squad is on the way. Please hurry. I can't wait to see my new joke monster machine in action. We need to help Joke Monster open that box so he can get his Joke Monster machine out. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, Monster! Monster! Today's secret monster math word is fit. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Fit! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, squad. Let's go help open that joke monster machine box. <laughs> Shake your hand. Ah! Ah! 
Oh! <laughs> I played another joke on you. <laughs> it's my handshake buzzer. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Fun? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should try it, Max. Um, <laughs> thanks, Goo, but I think watching you was enough fun for me. Wow, that really is a big box. <laughs> oh, yeah! It is a big, big box. It is big. And inside is my joke monster machine. But I can't get it open. <laughs> How have you tried to open the box, joke monster? I've pushed, pulled, tugged. I even tried to rip it open. Nothing worked. Hey, look. I found another box. <laughs> oh, and there's something in it. Three triangle shapes. I wonder what those are for. Oh, hold on. Did you say triangle shapes? Look! There's a triangle cut out of this side of the box. Hmm, maybe we can open the box by putting the proper triangle shaped piece into this cutout. Ooh, like a key. Good idea, Lily. Let's give it a try. Oh, it doesn't seem to fit. What do you think? Is this triangle the right size? No, it's way too big. What about this triangle? Is it the right size? No, it's way too small. The first triangle was too big, and the second triangle was too small. Maybe this triangle is the right size. Hmm, does that triangle look like it's the right size? Yes, it does look like it's the same size, so it must be the right piece. Let's see if it fits. What do you think, squad? Does it fit? No. We tried all three triangle shapes and none of them fit the cutout in the box. Oh, what do we do now? Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, fit. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, fit. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. A monster is visiting an art gallery. What an interesting piece of art. But wait, it seems to be missing a part. A triangle-shaped piece is what needs to be found. Oh, there it is, right there on the ground. It doesn't fit, but that can't be. This triangle-shaped piece is the right size, you see? The monster takes the piece and turns it around. That did the trick. The missing piece has been found. Thanks, Math Monitor. That was monster matherific. I think the Math Monitor is trying to tell us that if we turn this triangle piece around, it will fit in the cutout on the box. And since fit is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Will it fit now? No? Then let's keep turning it. How about now? Does it fit? Not yet. Keep turning it, Goo. Well, what about now? Does it fit? Oh, yes! We did it! Thanks, squad! Whoa! It worked! There it is! Isn't it amazing? My very own joke monster machine! The miniature me! <laughs> I can't wait to see it work! Uh, what's it supposed to do? The joke monster machine is supposed to play jokes on you and make you laugh. <laughs> this is definitely not working. Hmm. Maybe it's sleeping. I know. Maybe if I make some noise, it'll wake up. Boogity, boogity, boogity. <laughs> La! Boo! It's still not working. Look! Another cutout. Do you know what shape that is? It's a triangle. And look, here's another little box with more shapes in it. Great! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? 
Yes! Maybe one of those shapes will fit the cutout on the machine to get it to work. What kind of shapes are they, Goo? They're this shape! Does that piece fit the cutout? <laughs> no. That piece is a circle and the cutout is a triangle. Oh, maybe this one! It's a triangle. Uh, they look a little different. I don't think this triangle shape fits. The triangle shape is the same size, but it points a different way, just like before. Do you remember what we did the last time to make it fit? Aha! Turn it around. Let's try that. I'll turn it! Nope! Uh-uh! Not this way! Um, yeah, I think you turned it all the way back to where it started. Lily, did I turn it wrong? No, Goo. You turned it all the way around, but it still doesn't fit. The points of the triangle shape never match the points of the cutout. I'm confused. What do we do now? Ah! 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 Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, fit, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, fit! Look, a monster math monitor. A monster is visiting an art gallery. This painting is missing a triangle too. Oh, there it is. Now what should he do? It still doesn't fit when he turns it around but it's the only triangle piece to be found. Flip the shape over. Yes, that's it. Now the triangle piece is a perfect fit. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor. That was helpful. Now we know that flipping a triangle shape over will make it point a different way. So maybe the Math Monitor is telling us we need to flip this triangle piece over to make it fit. <laughs> Flip the triangle piece over, just like me! <laughs> Great flipping, joke monster! Come on, squad! Let's flip the triangle piece over and see if it fits into the cutout! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> the joke monster machine is moving! Oh, goody! Now get ready for some joke monster machine mayhem! <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Good one, Joke Monster Machine. I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> monster math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Joke Monster get his Joke Monster Machine working. And we did it by knowing all about fit. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math! We did, did the monster math! <laughs> monster Muffin Muddle. Okay, Goo, we're going to eat the monster muffins in order. The biggest monster eats first, and that's me. And the smallest monster eats last. That's me. <laughs> for the biggest or the smallest monster. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises you. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mask squad will be there! <gasps> it's Miss Merkley. She bakes monster muffins in her monster muffin shop. We, we love slimy, grimy monster, monster muffins! muffins. Oh, oh, yum! <laughs> Hi, Miss Merkley. Hello, Lily, Max, and Goo. I'm completely at my wit's end here. What seems to be the problem, Miss Merkley? Well, I have to leave my shop for a little while, so my nephew, Muddle Monster, has come to help out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Muddle Monster is the most mixed-up monster in all of Monstrovia. Yes, yes, he is indeed. And that's the problem. He has made a big muddled mess of my monster muffins. <laughs> Look at how he's dressed. Muddle Monster has his socks over his shoes and his undies over his pants. <laughs> he is a very, very mixed-up muddled monster. Yes, I need to go soon, but I can't leave Muddle Monster alone in the shop. Who knew? 
knows what muddly mess he'll make. So, can you please come and help make a batch of monster muffins before any customers come? Oh, don't worry, Miss Merkley. The Monster Mat Squad is on the way. Hmm, we need to make a batch of monster muffins. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. <gasps> hey, hey, Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Order! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Order! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> okay, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help unmuddle Miss Merkley's monster muffin shop. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. I simply can't have any more Muddle Monster Muffin mayhem. Don't worry, Miss Merkley. We'll get your monster muffins made. We, we love, love slimy, slimy, grimy monster muffins. muffins. Oh, oh, yeah. yum. Oh, dear, I have to go. Now, just remember to follow the recipe in order. That's very important. In order? Huh. What does she mean by that? Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Order! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Order! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. This monster is dressing for school, but he doesn't know the dressing rule. Socks over shoes? That really looks silly. You can't put clothes on willy-nilly. First the socks and then the shoes. If you do it in order, you just can't lose. Underwear on top of pants? It's funny, but not right. Underwear first, then pants. That's good. Now everything looks the way it should. The monster is all dressed up for school. When you do things in order, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know all about order. Yeah! One thing has to follow the other in order. <laughs> like socks before shoes. And undies before pants. <laughs> Miss Merkley told us to follow the recipe in order. So knowing about order will definitely help us make a batch of monster muffins. And since math is all about order, let's, let's do, do monster, monster math! math! Can we look at that recipe, Muddle Monster? I can't make heads or tails of it. <laughs> oh, my muddly me. What does it say to do, Lily? Hmm. It says we have to pour the muffin batter in the muffin tins, put on the toppings, bake the muffins, and put them on the shelf. But I did all those things. First, I put the toppings in the tins like this. And then I baked them. Then I put them on the shelf, and finally, I poured in the muffin batter. <laughs> Ta-da! Monster muffins! This doesn't look like a monster muffin. Yuck! This doesn't taste like a monster muffin either. Hmm, I don't think this muffin is cooked. Yeah, and the toppings aren't on top. Oh, my muddly me. What did I do wrong? Do you think it has something to do with the order Muddle Monster made the muffins in? I think so, too. We better start over from the beginning and make the muffins in the right order this time. Hmm, the recipe says that first we have to pour the muffin batter into the muffin tins, and then we put on the toppings. I'll get a tin. I've got the muffin batter. Oh, and I've got the toppings. And toppings in. Yay! Are they ready yet? Oh, uh, that doesn't look right. Does it? <laughs> Silly monsters. We have to make the muffins in the proper order, remember? First, the batter has to go in the tins. Before the toppings go on. Oh, my muddly me. First step, 
Pour in the batter. Ah, there! The muffin batter is in the tins. Now add the toppings. Ooh, that's the best part! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's put a lot on. That looks good. Hmm, what's next? Now we need to put the muffins in the oven to bake them and then put them on the shelf. Oh, I'll do it! On the shelf! Can we eat them? I don't think so, Goo. Do you? Nope, me either. Did we do something in the wrong order again? We put the muffin batter in the tins. Check. And we put on the toppings. Check. And then we were supposed to put them in the oven next. Oh! We put the muffins on the shelf before we put them in the oven. Wrong order again. No, oh, muddled. I'll fix that. Into the oven. <laughs> Are they ready yet? <laughs> no, Goo. They take time to bake. There! The monster muffins are baked. The last thing we need to do is put them on the shelf. We love slimy, grimy monster muffins! Oh, yum! Yeah. Uh, look! Customers! Me first! No! Me first! Oh, my mad lady, me. I don't know who to start first. Oh, what do we do? Ah, ah! Did you just see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word order together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Three little number monsters all in a row. First one, then two, then three. That's the order that they go. Three little monsters running free. You're out of order, don't you see? Three little monsters all in a row. First one, then two, then three. That's the order that they go. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was very helpful. Now we know more about order. Yeah, things can line up in order. Hey, do you think knowing about order can help us get these little monsters settled down so we can serve them muffins? Hey, maybe they could line up in order. But uh, who should be first? Well, they each took a number when they came in, so... So maybe they can get served in the order of their numbers. Oh, I'll help. Okay, little monsters, Time to line up. Here's number one, and here's number two, and this one's number three. Okay, one for you, number one. Oh, then one for you, number two, and finally, one for you, number three. We love slimy, grimy monster muffins. Yum! Oh, phew. <laughs> We got Miss Merkley's Monster Muffin Shop all unmuddled and made the Monster Muffins. And we did it by knowing all about order. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. Oh, looks like there are a few muffins left over for us. Let's eat them in order. The biggest monster eats first. Aww. <laughs> Just kidding, Goo. The smallest monster eats first. No, I think the most muddled monster should get the first muffin. Oh, my muddly me. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Little Wally Bolly Monster. Five, six, seven, eight. Surprises, Goo. <laughs> I like surprises. The Scream Scream! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mascot will, will be there! It's Mr. Googly 
eye monster. He loves watching things roll around with his googly eye. Hi, Mr. Googly Eye Monster. Glad you're there, Monster Math Squad. I need help with my little Wally Bolly monster. You have a Wally Bolly monster? Oh, cool. A Wally Bolly monster? <laughs> wow, we. <laughs> uh, what's a Wally Bolly monster? They're cute little guys that just love to run, jump, tuck themselves up into a ball, and roll. <laughs> oh, and they're fun to chase. Yeah, <laughs> but unfortunately, my little Wally Bolly doesn't seem to be having any fun. <laughs> He just can't get rolling here at the park. Don't worry, Mr. Googly Eye. We'll be right there to help. <laughs> Thank you, Monster Mouse Squad. See you soon. Hmm, we need to find out why little Wally Bolly can't get rolling. I bet we can use Monster Math to do that. Monster Math can solve any problem. For sure, because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Cool. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Hey, Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Slope! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret Monster Math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Slope! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again! Oh, right! I always forget! Come on, squad! Let's go get little Wally Bolly rolling again! You came! I brought Wally Bolly to the park so he could get some exercise. These little monsters want to run and chase them, but Wally Bolly can't roll. Oh, let me try. I bet I can make him roll. <laughs> and he'll go monster amazingly fast. <laughs> or he'll go monster amazingly slow. Oh dear. At home, my little Wally Bolly monster can run, jump, and roll very quickly. He usually makes it halfway across the yard. But here, in the park, he can't seem to roll at all. Don't worry, Mr. Googly Eye Monster. We'll help you figure out why little Wally Bolly can't roll very far. But how are we going to do that? Hmm. Mr. Googly Eye, did you say that little Wally Bolly can roll fast when he's at your house? That's right, Lily. When I play with little Wally Bolly at home, he just runs, jumps up in the air, tucks himself into a ball, and then he rolls down the slope in my backyard. <laughs> ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, slope. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Slow! It worked! A monster math monitor! Rolling is fun, and that is that. But there's no slope here. It's completely flat. Even tucked up like a ball, he can't get rolling. Not at all. Here's a slope, and it's not flat. Maybe the monster can roll on that. Oh no! The monster can't roll up. He slid to the bottom and came to a stop. He needs a big push to reach the top. Another slope, and it's heading down. Now the monsters can roll round and round. <laughs> that was really helpful. Now we know about slopes. Slopes that go up and slopes that go down. And when there's no slope, just flat on the ground. I bet we need to know about slopes to get Wally Bolly rolling again. And since math is all about slopes, let's, let's do, do monster math! But how does knowing about slopes help us get little Wally Bolly monster rolling? Hmm. This playground is very flat. Just like the first flat line on the math monitor. And the little round monsters couldn't roll on the flat line. <gasps> right, Max. The playground is flat, no slope. We need to make a slope so little Wally Bolly monster can roll. All right, we need to find something that we can use to make a slope. Look, we can use that sign to make a slope. Let's go get it. Yeah, 
Let's get the sign. Let's make a slope. Are they all right? <laughs> They'll be fine. Silly monsters. Oh, but look how Goo is standing. That gives me an idea. I think Goo can help us make a slope for Little Wally Bolly Monster. Yeah! I can make the slope! I can make the slope! <laughs> I can make the slope? Yes, Goo. If you stretch and form a slope, like we saw in the math monitor, Little Wally Bolly Monster can use you to roll fast. See? Like this. Oh, I can make myself look like that slope. <laughs> All right. Let's get Little Wally Bolly Monster to try it out. Okay, Wally Bolly, we have a slope for you. Get rolling! Did it work? Where is the little guy? I can't see him. No, it didn't work. We made a slope, but little Wally Bolly still couldn't get rolling. I wonder what went wrong. Well, we did make a slope, but... <gasps> Remember the math monitor showed us different types of slopes? Let's check it out. This slope goes up, and the little round monster couldn't roll up it. That's just like the slope I made, and Wally Bolly couldn't roll up me either. Exactly! But this slope goes down, and the monster could roll down it. <gasps> we need to make a slope that goes down for Wally Bolly. Here you go! A slope that goes down with steps to help Wally Bolly get to the top. Wally Bolly, we've got another slope for you to try. Come on, boy, get rolling. Okay, little mini monsters, get ready. Here goes Wally Bolly. Doesn't look like it worked that time either. No, it didn't, Goo. Little Wally Bolly just can't seem to get rolling. Even though we made him a slope that goes down? What are we doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, slope, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, slope! Look, a monster math monitor. Slopes like this can make monsters frown. The first little monster shoots right down. But the slope is too steep. He hits the ground. The slope has lowered a little bit. A game this fun is hard to quit. On a slope like this, he'll roll great. He rolled so fast, he went out the gate. Thanks, Math Monitor. Two slopes that go down. One was too steep. The other was just right. So, it matters how steep a slope is. Goo, your slope was too steep for Wally Bolly to roll properly. I can make the slope less steep. <laughs> Alrighty, little fellow. Do your stuff. What's wrong? Why did he stop? Well, the math monitor showed us that the first ramp we made was too steep and little Wally Bolly couldn't keep rolling. Then I lowered the ramp so it wasn't very steep at all. On this ramp, little Wally Bolly rolled very slowly. So what should we do now? The first slope was too steep and the second slope wasn't steep enough. Hmm, what do you think we should do? Oh, yes! We need to make a slope that's a little steeper than the second ramp, but not as steep as the first ramp. A little steeper. But not too steep. <laughs> I bet the slope on this ramp will be just right. All right. Let's give this one more try. <laughs> Look at him go! Is it working? Woohoo! <laughs> it sure is working, you! <laughs> Land sex, yes! That's how my little fella loves to roll! Thanks for helping get my little Wally Bolly monster rolling again. Now we can get some monster exercise, and the little mini monsters can have some fun chasing after him. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks like fun! I'm going to chase him, too! Me, too! Monster Math-tastic job, Monster Math Squad! 
We got little Wally Bolly Monster rolling again. And we did it by knowing all about slopes. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Numberline Monsters new game. Monster one, monster two, we can count and so can you. Monster three, monster four. <laughs> this is fun. Let's, Let's do, do some, some more. Monster five. <laughs> <laughs> Screen always surprises Goo. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mascot will be there! <laughs> it's Longtail Monster! Longtail Monster has invited us to the park to play a game with him at Numberline Monster. <laughs> we can't wait to play the game, Longtail Monster! Well, Max, you're gonna have to wait because there's been a... a teeny tiny accident. What happened? I accidentally swished my tail into Numberline Monster and now he's in pieces! Oops! Do you think you can help put him back together again so we can play our game? Have no fear, Longtail Monster! The Monster Math Squad is on the way! Hmm, we need to help put Numberline Monster back together. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad, join the squad. You will? Awesome. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster. Today's secret Monster Math word is Next! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Next! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help put Numberline Monster back together! <laughs> Yes, except that I'm all over the place. It's all my fault. I swished my tail just like this. Stop! Whoa! <laughs> Missed me. Got me. Oops, uh, I'm sorry. I, I think I'll just go over there and sit on my tail. <laughs> okay, let's put Numberline Monster back together, squad. I'll put this number here. And I'll put this number here. Wait, we must be doing something wrong. What could it be? Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word next. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, next. It worked! A monster math monitor! Start a number line with one. Now the fun has just begun. The next number after one is two. But I bet you knew that, didn't you? What can the number after two be? Oh, there it is, the number three. What's next after three? What's three plus one more? You've got it, that's right. The next number is four. Hey, look at the number that just arrived. It's the next number after four. Five. Next comes six, then seven, then eight. We're almost done. I can hardly wait. What's next after eight? Oh, yeah, it's nine. And next comes ten. Now that's a number line. The numbers one to ten, all in a row. The monsters made a number line. Way to go. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor! I think the Math Monitor is telling us we have to put Numberline Monster's pieces back together in the right order. How do we do that? Well, 
We know that number one comes first, and that's already here. So we just need to know which number comes after one. And that's the next piece that needs to go on. What's the next number after one? Two! Woohoo! Okay, um, what comes next after two? Three! Next is... Four! Okay, what's next? Five! There it is! What's next, squad? <laughs> Six! Right! Six is a heavy number! And what comes next after six? It's seven! Okay, what's next, Lily? What do you think, squad? Eight? Great! Eight! Got it! So what comes next after eight? Nine! And after nine comes... Ten! My tail! My beautiful tail! Hooray! Oh, now we can play! Whoa! Oh, oh, you missed me? <laughs> got me! I got a little too excited about playing the game! How do we play? It's easy. Two players will start at number one on my number line. The spinner will spin for each player in turn. If the spinner stops here, where there is one monster, then the player moves up one number. If it stops on two monsters, you move up two numbers. If it stops on three monsters, you move up three numbers. Landing on four monsters means you move up four numbers. And landing on five monsters means you move up five numbers. And the player who gets to the end of my number line first wins the game. Why don't you and Lily play the first game? Yay! Aww. And Max will spin the spinner. That's a very, very important part of this game, Max. Who gets the first turn? Let the game begin! The spinner is pointing to one little monster. What do I do? Well, you're at one now, so you have to move up one more to the next number. Which is... Yes! Two! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm at two! I'm winning! Now it's Lily's turn. Three monsters! So Lily has to move up three numbers. Will you help me count the next three numbers after one? Let's start counting! One, two, three. I moved three numbers away from one. Now I'm on number four. <laughs> now I'm winning! It's pointing to five monsters, Goo! You get to move up five numbers! I'm on number two, and I have to move up five numbers! Let's count, starting here! One, two, three, four, five! There! I moved five spaces from number two. Now I'm on... Seven! Goo is in front of Lily again! Yay! <laughs> this is exciting! The arrow is pointing to three monsters, so Lily has to move up three numbers. Okay, squad, help me count the next three numbers after four. One, that puts me at five. Two, that puts me at six. Three, that puts me at seven. Amazing! <laughs> They're both on seven! This is super, super exciting! Oh no, please don't get super excited, Longtail Monster! That's, That's when, when your, your tail, tail swishes! swishes. <laughs> oh, that was close. Spin again, Max! Two monsters. Okay, squad, let's count. Two numbers that come next after seven are eight, 
and nine. I'm almost at the end. I'm on seven. So how many monsters do I need on the spinner to get to ten and win the game? Let's count and see. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Come on, three. Three! It's three monsters! One, that's eight. Two, that's nine. Three, that's ten! Lily won the number line game! <laughs> Way to go, Lily! That was fun! Can I play now? Oh, oh, yeah! And I'll be the spinner! <laughs> At least it wasn't me who knocked you down this time. <laughs> <laughs> Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped put Numberline Monster back together. And we did it by knowing all about Next. And we played a Numberline game. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> Double trouble! Come see my painting of you, Goo. Okay, Lily. My painting of you is done, too. <laughs> Come see it, Goo. <laughs> okay, Max. This is fun! <laughs> Always surprises, Goo. I like surprises. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! <gasps> it's Muddle Monster! He always gets mixed up and muddled about things. Hi, Muddle Monster! Oh, Mobster Mott Squad! I mean, Monkey Mop Squash! Uh, oh, my muddly me! I'm all muddled today! That's okay, Muddle Monster. It's Monster Math Squad. How can we help you? I'm at the Whack a Monster Ball Court, and I'm in a muddle. What's got you so muddled, Muddle Monster? Well, I met this new monster, Double Monster. I've heard of him. We were going to play a game, but now he won't play with me, and I don't know why. Why don't you just ask him why he won't play with you? I tried, but he doesn't talk much. Oh, it's making me so muddled. Uh, don't worry, Muddle Monster. We're on our way. Thanks, Mumble Mash Squid. I uh, mean, Master Milk Squirt. Oh, muddly me. We need to help Muddle Monster find out why Double Monster won't play Whack-A-Monster Ball with him. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Monster! Monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Double! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Double! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help Muddle Monster get Double Monster to play with him! <laughs> No, that's not right. I mean, Mustard Mash Squawk. Monster Mash Squad! Muddle Monster is a very muddled monster. Allow me to introduce Double Monster. Um, why is he called Double Monster? Because he likes things to be double. But I'm not sure what that means. Me either. Double Monster sure seems friendly, 
And it looks like he wants to play with you, Muddle Monster. So I wonder why he won't play. I don't know. He's pointing at your racket. Oh, maybe he wants your racket instead. Oh, okay, I'm happy to switch. And there. Are you ready to play Whack-A-Monster Ball with me now, Double Monster? Uh-uh. Huh? But I thought you wanted the other racket. You see why I'm all in a muddle? What does this monster want? <laughs> Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Double! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, double! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Three dancing monsters want to dance through the night. They each need a partner to do the dance right. The dancers need to double. They need to add some more. A new set of dancers must come on the floor. Oh, here they come now. How many do you see? One, two, three. The same number as the dancers here already. A new set with the same number is what you must add if you want to double the number you had. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know all about double. We do? Yes. To double something, you just add a second set that has the same number of things in it as the first set. Well, uh, we know that Double Monster likes things to be double, so maybe he wants to double the number of rackets he has. Is that what you want, Double Monster? Uh-huh. All right, squad. <laughs> Let's get doubling. Uh, how do we do that again? Well, we learned that to double something, we need to add a set with the same number of things as there are in the first set. How many rackets does Double Monster have to begin with? Uh, one! He has one racket! So, to double one, we need to add another set with... Uh, how many rackets? Ah, one! We need another set of one racket. Now there are one, two rackets. Double one is two. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> He's happy! <laughs> so, are you ready to play now, Double Monster? Uh -uh. Huh? How come he still doesn't want to play with you? Oh, my muddly me. Hmm. We doubled the number of rackets and Double Monster was happy. Huh. I wonder what the problem is now. He's showing us his two rackets, and he's pointing to Muddle Monster. <gasps> oh, of course! He's telling us that now Muddle Monster needs a racket. Okay. How's that? Uh-uh. Oh, right. Double Monster likes things to be double, so we need to double the number of rackets he has. Do you remember how to double something? Oh, yes! We need to figure out how many rackets are in the first set and then add another set with the same number of rackets. So, how many rackets does Double Monster have? That's the first set. Yes! Two! So we need another set of... How many? <laughs> yes! Two! But Muddle Monster only has one, so he needs one more. I think I can unmuddle this. Here you go, Muddle Monster. So now, Muddle Monster has one, two rackets. Now, Double Monster has a set of two rackets, and Muddle Monster has a set of two rackets. Then that's double. Let's see. Now we have one, two, three, Four rackets. So double two is four. He's happy again. <laughs> so are you ready to play Whack a Monster Ball now, Double Monster? Uh uh. Huh? What does he want now? What? Huh? What's he doing? I think he wants us to play too. <laughs> 
to play doubles. That means two teams with two players on one team and two players on the other. How many rackets are we going to need now? Let's count how many rackets are in the first set. How many does this team have? One, two, three, four. So we have to double four. Double four? Ooh, how many is that? Oh, I know. That's just like my toes. I have four toes on one foot. See? One, two, three, four. That's one set of four. How many do you have on the other foot, Max? Count with me, squad. Ready? One, two, three, four. Another set of four. So one set of four and add a second set of four. That's double. So how many toes do you have all together, Max? Well, let's count both sets of toes together now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So double four is eight. Here's your set of four. So, are you ready to play with me now, Double Monster? Uh-huh. Whoa, hold on. This isn't fair. Goo is going to get left out. Nuh-uh. If you're going to play Whack-a-Monster Ball, you have to have a ball monster, right? Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> I think Double Monster wants you to be Double Goo. I can double do that. Whee! <laughs> Yay! We're finally playing Whack a Monster Ball. Oh, I can't thank you enough, massive mush squeeze. Uh, Mucky Match Squad. <laughs> no problem, Muddle Monster. Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped the Whack a Monster Ball game get going. And we did it by knowing all about double. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the monster, monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bloop's big blunder. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> My Uncle Bloop's coming to visit. Oh, I can't wait. Get it, Max? Well, eight. Wait! What, eight? <laughs> I get it. You look like an eight. That's funny, Goo. Uncle Gloop says he's got a surprise to show us. I wonder what it is. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, Max. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. <laughs> that scream screen always surprises me. I like surprises. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care... The, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. <laughs> good morning. Phoey, it's not a good morning. It's a very bad morning. Yikes! Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is even more cranky than usual. That's because my last customer just bought a monster scooter. A monster scooter? Oh, I love monster scooters! <laughs> how, how is that a bad thing? It's bad because the customer didn't ride off on the scooter he bought. Oh, no, 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 no! He took my scooter by mistake! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't worry, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. We'll get your scooter back for you. Huh, I'll believe it when I see it. Hmm. We need to find a scooter that could be anywhere in Monstrovia. Can Monster Map help us do that? Yeah! Monster Map can solve any problem! Because Monster Map is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Map squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! <laughs> you will! Fantastic! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ha! Ah, ah, right, monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is pattern. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Pattern. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go find that scooter. <laughs> Why are 
are you so happy? My scooter is gone. All I've got left is its empty parking spot. Can you tell us what your scooter looks like, Mr. Cranky Pants? Huh? W where did he go? It looks like this. This is the scooter the customer was supposed to take. Mine looks like this, only my scooter is yellow and it has a different kind of tire. What kind of different kind of tire? One that makes a different kind of pattern. Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word pattern. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, pattern! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! Picky Eater Monster only eats in a pattern that repeats. His morning bowl of breakfast bugs has triangle worms and circle slugs. He dumps them out and arranges them. Two triangles, one circle, then the same again. That's how Picky Eater Monster eats, in a pattern that repeats. Wow! He must need to know about patterns that repeat to find the missing monster scooter. Hey! I found a pattern! I think. Triangle, triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, circle. <gasps> You're right, Goo! It is a pattern. A pattern that repeats. That's my scooter's tire track! Hey! That means if we follow your tire track pattern, we'll find your missing monster scooter. <laughs> monster math terrific idea, Max! Okay, Monster Math Squad! Let's, Let's do, do Monster, monster Math! math. Ow! Enough howling! Just find my monster scooter! Hey, what you doing, Lily? Making a drawing of the pattern just in case we need it. See? Triangle, triangle, circle. Triangle, triangle, circle. Good thinking, Lily. Come on, squad. Let's follow that pattern. <laughs> this is pretty easy. We'll find that scooter in a monster minute. Yeah, and get home in time for Uncle Gloop's visit. Wonder what surprise he's bringing to show us. Max, Goo, where are you going? I'm following the tire track pattern. Me too. <laughs> well, so am I. But the track can't be going three different ways. Uh-oh. It looks like we're following three different tracks. They must have been made by other scooters. Whoops. Will you help us figure out which repeating pattern track we are supposed to be following? You will? Great! This repeating pattern has a triangle, a triangle, and a square. Triangle, triangle, square. Hmm. Does the pattern I drew look like that? No? No, oh, you're right. The pattern Lily drew has circles in it, and this one doesn't have any circles. So we know this isn't the right track. That just leaves these two tracks, but they both have triangles and circles in them. Which is the right track to follow? Hmm. Hey, why don't we count how many triangles are in Lily's pattern and then see which track has the same number? Good idea, Goo. One, two triangles, then a circle. Now let's count how many triangles there are in this track. One, two, three triangles, then a circle. <gasps> it's got more triangles in it than the pattern Lily drew. Let's check the other track. One, two triangles, then one circle. <gasps> triangle, triangle, circle! Hey! Just like my drawing. Which means that's the track! Awesome work! Let's follow it, squad! Uh -oh. Uh oh The track just stops! Whoever is riding the scooter must have taken it on the sidewalk. And it looks like the scooter doesn't leave a track on the sidewalk. Which way did it go? Hey, it's Smooth Smoke's monster! Maybe he knows where to find the scooter. Where do monsters need to go? Listen to Smooth, I'm in the know. The museum is where the scooter is, and it's locked with the funniest lock in the biz. Most locks use keys, but this ain't like those. To open this lock, you gotta tickle its toes. Its toes are red and green and blue. Watch my sign, here's what to do. You tickle red once, and you tickle blue twice. Then you tickle green once, that's my advice. Red, blue, blue, green. Red, blue, blue, green. Tickle its toes. Red, blue, blue, green. Thanks, Smooth Moves Monster. Okay, so we know the scooter is at the museum. 
And that the scooter's locked with a lock monster. And that to open the lock monster, we need to tickle his toes. Red, blue, blue, green. Can you help us remember that pattern all the way to the museum? You can? Oh, great. Let's say it together. Here we go. Red, blue, blue, blue green. green. Red, blue, blue, blue green. green. Red, blue, blue, green. Here we are. There's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster's yellow scooter. And the lock monster. Hello, Goo, my favorite gooey nephew. Uh, Uncle Gloop, what are you doing here? I can't wait to find out what the surprise is that you're bringing to show us. Well, you don't have to wait any longer. You found it. Ta-da! My brand new monster scooter. You're the customer who bought a scooter for Mr. Cranky Pants? Yep. Uh-oh. Is something wrong? Uh, <laughs> uh, you took the wrong scooter. I did? Then if this isn't the scooter I bought, whose is it? Mr. Mr. Cranky Pants, Pants Monsters! Oh dear, what a mistake, what a blunder, what a terrible blunder. I'd love to get it back to him, but I can't unlock this lock monster. <laughs> Don't worry, Uncle Gloop. We know what to do, don't we? Smooth Moves Monster told us we just need to tickle its toes. Yeah, like this. Uh, um, was the pattern red, green, green, blue? Red, green, green, blue? No, that's not right. Oh, oh, can I try? How about green, green, blue, red? Green, green, <laughs> blue, red. That's not it either. Do you remember? <gasps> A monster math monitor! I bet she'll remind us. Red, blue, blue, green. Red, blue, blue, green. Yes! That's the repeating pattern we need. Okay! So now that we've remembered it... We'll tickle the lock monster's toes in that repeating pattern. Red, blue, blue, green. Red, blue, blue, green. We did it! We opened the lock monster! Oh, good job, Monster Mask Squad! Time to get this scooter back to Mr. Cranky Pants. Let's go! I love my scooter. My scooter is my friend. Who's wow, he friend. looks almost happy. I do? Oh, that's no good. I'm always cranking. Always! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just this once, I could be happy, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got my star! <laughs> I'm happy, too! This is the best new scooter ever! Come on, Goo! Hop on! Good work, Monster Math Squad! We got the scooters back to who they belong to and made everybody happy! <laughs> <laughs> Even Mr. Cranky Pants. <laughs> and we did it by knowing all about patterns. Huh, that deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> and Monster's Helpers. Watch this cool magic trick, Max. How many? Fingers, do you see? One, two, three, four. I see four fingers, Goo. Now, how many fingers do you see? One, two, three, four, five. How'd you do that? Hey, wait a minute. That's not a real finger. It's a fungus finger cookie. <laughs> That's not magic. <laughs> It is magic! I made the fungus finger magically disappear! <laughs> <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo! The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need! And whenever a monster needs our care... The Monster Mask Squad will be there! Hey, it's Miss Hand Monster! Hi, Miss Hand Monster! Hi, Monster Mask Squad! Can you help me? What do you need us to do? Well, 
I got invited to a fancy monster dance, and my dance partner is coming to get me soon. But I have to look my best at this fancy dance, and unless you can help me, I won't be able to go. Just look at my nails! Yikes! Yeah! They're a wreck! The manicure monster, who usually makes my nails all pretty, can't come today. So, I'm calling to ask you, does the monster mascot do manicures? Uh, manicures? Like, making fingernails look pretty? Yes, that's it. That's uh, not something we've ever done before. But there's a first time for everything. Don't worry, Miss Hand Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. See you soon. Hmm. We need to give Miss Hand Monster a manicure to make her fingernails look pretty. I wonder if Monster Math can help us do that. Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. <laughs> Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Five. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Five. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Right. <laughs> I'm so excited. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Miss Hand Monster needs her manicure. <laughs> Math Squad. Come on, I'll show you what the manicure monster does so you can start. First, she uses a wipe-off sponge to wipe the old nail polish off my nails. Then, she paints my nails with beautiful new nail polish to make them all pretty. Oh, and one wipe-off sponge only does one nail. Here, start with this one. Oh, uh, wait a second. Did you say one wipe-off sponge only does one nail? Yes. Then we'll need more than just one wipe-off sponge, Miss Hand Monster. How many nails do you have? One, two, three, four, five. So that means you need five wipe-off sponges. We only have one. How many wipe-off sponges do we need to add to this one so that we have five? Ah, ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Five. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, five. Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. Smarty Pants Monster is an adding whiz. He can add to five thanks to a trick of his. He uses his hand because it's right by his side, and he knows it has five fingers he can use as a guide. He holds up one finger up in the air, and then counts the other fingers that are left over there. One, two, three, four is how many there are. So one plus four equals five. What a superstar. Thanks a lot, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know that when you have five fingers on your hand, you can use your fingers to add to five. And since five is a math word, let's, let's do, do Monster, Monster Math! math. Oh. I'll use my fingers to find out how many sponges we need to add to the one we have to get Five sponges. Hmm, here we go. Oh no, I don't have five fingers on my hand. I only have one, two, three, four fingers. That's not enough. Me too, Goo. And look, Lily's hands are the same. Our hands aren't going to help us. We need five fingers. Oh no. <laughs> hey. Miss Hand Monster has five fingers. Can we use your fingers to find out how many sponges we need? You bet. Happy to lend a hand. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Ready, squad? Let's add with Miss Hand Monster's fingers, just like the math monitor showed us. 
Okay, Miss Hand Monster, can you please close all your fingers? Now, we want you to raise one finger up in the air for the one wipe-off sponge we have. Now, lift the rest of your fingers one at a time. One, two, three, four. So, that's one finger for the one sponge we have, and one, two, three, four, four fingers for the sponges we need. So one plus four equals five. So now we know we need to add four wipe-off sponges to this one sponge to have enough. Lily, would you please get us four more sponges? You bet. Here they are. Four sponges. Great! <laughs> Let's get wiping, squad. Wow! Thanks so much, Monster Math Squad. Okay, now I want each of my fingernails to be a different color for the fancy monster dance. Like a rainbow. Hurry! My dance partner will be here soon! Uh-oh! There are only two bottles of nail polish here! That is a problem. Well, we know that Miss Hand Monster has five fingernails, so we're going to need five colors if she wants all her nails to be a different color. How do we figure out how many more nail polish colors to get? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, five, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, five! Look, a monster math monitor. Smarty Pants is back again to add to five. Hooray! He's using the fingers on his hand to make adding easy today. This time he starts with two. He puts two fingers in the air. And then he counts the other fingers that are left over there. One, two, Three is how many that there are. So two plus three equals five. What a superstar! <laughs> that was monster massively helpful. Now we know that if you have five fingers, you can add to five in lots of different ways. Two plus what is five? Your fingers are going to tell us. Because you have five fingers on each of your hands, just like Miss Hand Monster. Let's count your fingers and hers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Great! Now, let's use the five fingers on your hand to figure out how many nail polish colors we need to get. All together, we need five colors. And we already have two colors, so put up two fingers. You too, Miss Hand Monster. Now lift the rest of your fingers up one at a time, and we'll count them together. Go! One, two, three. Three! Two fingers and three more fingers equals five. So we need three more nail polish colors to add to the two we already have. I'll get them. One, two, three new colors. Perfect! Let's paint those nails. My dance partner, he's here. Just in time. That deserves a high five. Help me out here, dance partner. <laughs> time to go to the dance. <laughs> Come on. See ya. Great work, Monster Math Squad. We just gave our first monster manicure. And we did it by knowing all about five. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three, howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> monster go round. <laughs> hey, now we have three balls, Goo. <laughs> Catch these! Ow! Oh. I guess three balls are too many. Yeah, we better take one away. <laughs> I 
I took one ball away, Max. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! Hey, it's Goo's Uncle Gloop. Hi, Hi Uncle, Uncle Gloop. Gloop. Hi, Monster Mask Squad. Glad I got a hold of you. I need your help. What can we do for you? Well, Lily, I'm at Monstrovia Park, where I'm in charge of running a brand new ride, the Monster Go Round. A brand new ride. ride. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, but there's a problem. I can't get the gate open so monsters can get on the ride. Can you help me? We sure can, Uncle Gloop. The Monster Mask Squad is on the way. Thanks, Monster Mask Squad. Hmm. We need to help Uncle Gloop get the Monster Go Round ride gate open. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word Monster! monster. Today's secret monster math word is subtract. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Subtract! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, Monster Math Squad, to Monstrovia Park to help Uncle Gloop open the monster go-round gate. And then ride the monster go round! Yay! <laughs> Am I ever glad you're here? These monsters want to go on the monster go round, but if I can't get the gate to open, they can't get on the ride. Let me try and open the gate. I can't open the gate. Maybe Max can open it. He's strong. I'll try. <laughs> Nope, I can't open it either. Why won't this gate open? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, subtract. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, subtract. subtract. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. One monster eyeball, two eyeballs, three eyeballs, four. They all try to fit in a jar at the monster eyeball store. One, two, three fit in the jar, but that's all. So what do we do with the extra eyeball? We need three, not four, so one eyeball leaves. When we subtract one eyeball from four, that makes three. Three eyeballs fit in the jar just right. Now it's time to close it up tight. Thanks, Math Monitor. <laughs> that was helpful. Now we know that if we have too many of something, you need to subtract it from the group. Maybe the Math Monitor is telling us we need to subtract something to make the gate open. And since subtract is a math word, let's, let's do monster math! Okay, so we need to subtract something to make the gate open. But what should we subtract? Oh, I know! Eyeballs! <laughs> <laughs> Silly goo. I don't think eyeballs are what we need to subtract. Let's think, squad. If we can figure out what we have too many of, we'll know what we need to subtract. Hmm. The loading area looks pretty crowded with monsters. Maybe there are too many monsters in the loading area. I bet the Monster Math Monitor was trying to tell us that we need to subtract some monsters. What do you think, Squat? Okay, let's give it a try. So, uh, how many monsters do we need to subtract? Let's start by figuring out how many monsters fit in the loading area. 
Hmm. The seats are for the monsters to sit on while they're waiting, right, Uncle Gloop? That's right, Lily. So, I bet we need to figure out how many monsters fit on the seats. And then we subtract any monsters that don't fit. Come on, squad. Help us figure this out. Let's see how many monsters fit in these seats. Okay, you can go sit in the first seat. That's one. And you can sit in the second seat. That's two. And you go sit in the third seat. That's three. Now all the seats are full. Three monsters fit in the seats, and there's one monster left over who doesn't fit. What do you think we should do with the extra monster, Squad? Yes, subtract. We need to subtract one monster from the group. Does that mean he won't get to ride the monster go round? Don't worry, Goo. He can wait for the next ride. It opened! Yay! <laughs> we had four monsters and we subtracted one. So now there are three monsters left. Four subtract one is three. Monster-go-round is ready to load more monsters! Can we go on now, Uncle Gloop? Well, that monster there is gonna need some company. Maybe I'll join you, too! Yay! Yeah! Hey, wait a minute. There aren't enough seats for all of us. There's way too many monsters this time. What are we gonna do now? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, subtract, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, subtract! subtract. Look, a monster math monitor. Big Smiling Monster has lost his toothy smile. His three big teeth took a walk for a while. Oh, here they come now. But something's wrong. There are too many teeth. Some don't belong. Five teeth came back, but there's only room for three. Two are left over. Subtract them. Yippee! Wow! Thanks, Math Monitor. That was interesting. Now we know that we can subtract even more than one thing. There were five teeth, but the monster could only fit three teeth in his mouth. There were two leftover teeth, so he subtracted two. How many of us are there? Help us count, squad. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five monsters and only one, two, three seats. Help us figure out how many are left over. How many do we need to subtract? Uh, is this seat taken? <laughs> nope, it's all yours, Goo. That monster makes one, and you make two, Goo. So I'll take this seat, and that makes three. What about me? And me, too. Well, I guess we'll have to subtract both of you this time. We have two monsters too many, so if we subtract two from five, we'll have three monsters for the three seats. And that's a perfect fit. Okay. Sure. Yay, it worked! <laughs> okay, monsters, get ready for an amazing monster go round ride! <laughs> Your turn, Max! Uh, we'd better see if we have any subtracting to do this time. Hey, how come there's only one more seat left? I'm only one monster, and the seats are for three monsters. <laughs> That's because you're such a big monster, Max. You take up two seats all by yourself. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> hey, it leaves one seat for you, Uncle Gloop. I guess we won't be subtracting anything this time. Okay, Max. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Wait a minute. If Uncle Gloop is on the ride, who will stop it? <laughs> that means we can ride all day. <laughs> Yay! 
<laughs> Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Uncle Gloop get the gate open so the monster go round could go round and round. And we did it by knowing all about subtract. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. We, we did, did the math. We did the monster math. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need to find a way to stop this.